Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. I hope you're all doing great and uh, welcome to this new video uh, on Solana. It was necessary. We've, uh, well, so far, yesterday, I'm not sure where the price was. It was basically at the same levels. Uh, but what we talked about yesterday is that I, no, it was a bit lower. Um, what I expected is a bit more bullish momentum because uh, Bitcoin was recovering. Solana is very correlated to Bitcoin right now, as I will show you once again, because it is very important to know. Uh, because that basically means that if you want to know what Solana is doing, there's more sense in analyzing Bitcoin, <laughs> but it's uh, it's for 96% correlated now. Um, so yeah, that's going on. And then we also had some liquidity to, liquidity to the upside, which is still the case, uh, all the way up until $95, to be honest, um, is is liquidity, all right? So this entire level there, there still is some, some resistance and some, some sort of a magnet to that level. Uh, but what I also told you, and which I still stand by, is that I do think that Solana has turned bearish. Um, Solana is correlated to Bitcoin. I think Bitcoin has turned bearish. If we if we look at all of the indications around Bitcoin and the technicals, it is bearish. <laughs> it also feels pretty bearish on the short term, at least. Huh? On the on the long term, I still think it's bullish. So the same goes for Solana. You can also just see that it's it's making lower highs, right? I mean, even if, and we talked about that yesterday as well, even if Solana gets up to $94 and $95, I would still say it's it's bearish um, because frankly, there is liquidity all, all the way to the upside. So it's possible that we'll get there, but there also is a major resistance level. So only if that resistance level breaks, um, we're, we're bullish. And I just don't see any reason um, why that would be the case for Solana right now or why Solana would be able uh, to break above that. Um, so so if that reason does come up, I'll definitely tell you, all right? Uh, but I do think that, first of all, the correlation between Bitcoin and Solana would need to drop down, um, for example. Solana fundamentally is also getting a little bit more bearish if you compare it to the all-time highs, but most of the statistics are still doing fine. So I would say fundamentally Solana is also still um, fine. So now the big question is, 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 well, what's next? And unfortunately, I never like to say this, but it does depend a lot on Bitcoin, all right? Bitcoin right now, it, it, I think Bitcoin can go up a little bit more and therefore I think Solana can follow that. So I do actually uh, expect somewhat of a bullish spike or even a bullish breakout above $90 to, uh, for, for Solana to get up to this level right here between $92 and $95. Expect us to get there, maybe get some sort of a bullish breakout above $90 and break retest. But after that, I do expect it to fall back down below $90 uh, and to and to drop down towards seventy five dollars. That's um, that's ultimately what I expect. I mean, like I said, circumstances can change. Um, that's that's always true. But at this moment, if you if you look at Solana itself, the amount of momentum it has, which is practically none. If you look at the correlation between Solana and Bitcoin, which is very high, and then if you look at Bitcoin, which is bearish, that's bearish. Usually, if Solana is not moving on its own, so usually if the correlation is high, uh, that's actually a bearish indication. So. Yeah, it's just not looking sunny for Solana on the on the short term, but on the long term, I mean, on the long term, Solana is fine. Uh, there's a ton of support at seventy five dollars, and maybe if we will drop down all the way to sixty dollars, which I'm definitely not sure of, um, down there is, is so much support as well. It's 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 ridiculous. All right. So, uh, and apart from that, even though the fundamentals are a little bit more bearish, they're still very bullish if you compare it over the last three months. Uh, so enough reasons to be bullish on Solana, but purely technically, I, 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 I am bearish. And I do expect it to break down below $85 from here or $90 if we do get that spike up and to drop down. All right. So I'll keep you updated on that, on the technicals, on the fundamentals, uh, of course. But for now, that's what you need to know. So if you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. There you can also find out more about my premium and signal group, but that's uh, completely up to you. For now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.